It's SEC Baseball at Baumwalker Stadium in Northwest Arkansas. Glorious weather to be out in the hog pen. Mississippi State is in the house to begin a three-game set, a Friday night pitching matchup with Hagen Smith on the mound. Now, whatever stat, whatever number you want to pull out, Troy, Hagen Smith is probably leading everyone. Yeah, these numbers are just absolutely eye-popping. How about a 140 batting average. Chasing a few all-time records for Arkansas, trying to keep the Hawks perfect in the first game of series. Here's another payoff pitch to Chance. That's up and in. That's going to be ball four. So Chance does. Another payoff from Hagan. And again, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks to Chance and Mershon to begin the game, and already a quick visit from Hudson White. Uh, Jordan. And here's a payoff pitch. Wave and a miss. Jordan has struck out 64 times. Hit two year. homers last Friday before the third inning. Waves and misses there. Now you might see Hagen. the fastball. 0-2. Oh, Cut on and missed. Two walks, followed by three strikeouts in a very eventful top of the first inning. To him as he bounces on the mound and pitches to Aloy and gets him to chase and wave and miss. Second. Soft pop-up hit towards the second baseman. Pulliam, he's got it. And the Razorbacks for the second straight inning. Go in order. He just we turned 20 in August. Well, there's the first hit he's given up as Chance will single into center field, a one-out base hit here in the third inning. Really good. There's a wave and a miss. That's six strikeouts for Hagen Smith. Those are back-to-back -back change ups against. He does have 16 homers and his 56 RBIs. Fifth best in the SEC, and he's going to single into left field between Aloy and Sprague lot. So a couple of singles for the Bulldogs. They're trying to the count here one and two. And the pitch. He's going to line one right to McLaughlin, who was playing behind the runner at first. Spear that line drive to end the inning. So and again, the, these programs are built around success. Hey, Ryder Helfrich in the lineup today against the right-hander, and he singles to begin the bottom of the third inning. Troy, he had been three for 30 against right-handers. So the, this the strike out. Helfrich is going to run. That is strike three. The throw will bounce, and it's not in time. Helfrich had a really short lead, but he ran anyhow. Played some and center and played some right. Sky to pop up on the infield. Who wants it? Pulling him underneath it. He's got it. And the inning ends. Arkansas wastes the leadoff single. Looks on these two pitchers. And the one-two pitch. Wave and a miss. Hagen Smith gets strike. Wave and a miss. Hagen Smith has struck out eight through four scoreless innings, and he's right back on his game, Troy. Scoring position, Arkansas is hitting 195, State 332. That one's out there to left center field. Dakota Jordan circled around it, played it on the bounce. And Sprague Lott with the one-out single, the second base hit for the Razorbacks tonight. And here's the pitch to Aloy. Hard hit. It's off the tip of the glove on a bounce by Mershon. Sprague Lott can only move up 90 feet. 99 off the bat of Aloy. He's got a. And the pitch from Steven. Lifted to center. Jordan pursuing. He's got plenty of room shy of the track. He's going to make the catch. Sprague Lott is going to tag. He's going to go to third. The throws off line. Arkansas now has runners on the corners, but two outs in the fourth inning. White, and he's behind in the count here. And that one's in the dirt to the backstop. And Sprague Lott will score the first run on a wild pitch, and the Razorbacks have a one nothing lead. How big was that tag up and moving from second to third base by Jared Sprague Lott? That was all Nate Thompson, the third base coach, telling him to come on. And that's just not trying to. Is that close up? And the pitch lifted in the air, left center field, well struck, back to the wall, goodbye! To the people, into the hog pen! And one big swing from Hudson White has made it three, nothing, Razorbacks. Yeah, just a really big swing by Hudson White. I think that's a fastball that Cal Steven normally throws up out of the zone. That's at the top of the strike zone. Hudson White knew it when he hit it. Just a little bit of breeze blowing out. Nothing's going to knock that one down tonight. About 4.08. Struck out eight hitters already tonight. Going to give up a ground ball in the center for a base hit. That's the third single by the Bulldogs, and that's a leadoff runner aboard here in the fifth. Didn't score. Two runners on in the third, did not score, and they're going to have two runners on here in the fifth. So Arkansas 3-0 to Jordan. And that is a four-pitch walk to load the bases for Hunter Hines. 
Smoke down the line and right, and that's a fair ball, and it's into the corner. Can Jordan score from first? The ball sticks at the base of the foul pole. Here comes Jordan, all the way from first, and a three-run double has tied up the baseball game. Hunter Hines. And that is a wave and a miss. White's going to have to complete the strikeout with a throw to first. So he 11 Ks for Hagen Smith. Hosting Oklahoma but State, La Tech, and others. This might be the first of multiple matchups between these two teams. Jason Jones, first pitch, popped up, pulling him out there. We'll make the catch. So a quick out for mouth Steve. and nose. And that's a wave and a miss. So Peyton Holt down on strikes. Go to the big right-hander, Christian Fouch. And we talked about the, the special stuff Hagen Smith has. Christian Fouch, he'll sit in the mid to upper 90s and with zero that. through five innings. Stroke to right, Holt back on the run, gets turned around, and somehow he made the catch. <laughs> Peyton Holt finds a way to provide some drama each and every game, even when maybe he overran the baseball. Out into the webbing, watch where this ball is caught. He barely keeps that ball oh my in his glove. That is a sensational. 11 homers last year and didn't find that home run stroke until this past weekend. There's a chopper to first. And McLaughlin will take it himself to end the inning. You know, Troy. Sprague lot drives one in the air to left field. When this one lands, the Razorbacks will be back in front. Into the hard pen. Their second homer of the game, and Jared Sprague lot takes Cal Steven deep. Boy, talking about squaring one up, Spreglot got a hold of that one. That was a fastball right over the middle of the plate, up just a little bit, but not enough. Spreglot admired it for just a second. You see when he hit this and he stood there and watched, Scott Klein was about ready to tell him to take off, and then Spreglot went. And here he is batting three hole. Up the middle, and that's a base hit again. That's almost the same spot that Vahiva Loy singled in his last A.B. Managing, Wait. coaching a little bit differently. Well, it's going to hit another pop-up against Steven. Pulliam's been busy. He'll make the catch, and that will end the inning. So the Razorbacks strand a runner, but they get the lead back. The 2-2. Soft little flare is going to find some grass in right field. So Long able to serve one out to Peyton Holt, and Bulldogs have the tying run on base. Nobody out in the seventh inning. Make Fouch throw a strike, maybe more. And that is ball four, so another walk and a couple of base runners. You know, the one thing Gackle was able to do early in the year, and I give anybody credit for doing this, certainly freshman, was stranding inherited runners. I think the first Jordan is strikeout prevalent, and he's just going to take a fastball painted on the corner at 96. Base hit would tie up the game, an extra base hit would put State in front for the first time, but Gackle gets the wave and a miss. And how about an elevated 97-mile-an-hour fastball Here's the one, two. That's a chopper. Mershon's going to have to charge and throw on the run. He does. Out at first is Helfrich. Good play by a talented defensive Mississippi State team. Here's the pitch. Another pop up. Bingo cards have plenty of those tonight. Hines with room. Inning over. Arkansas goes in order. Tenth right in a pitcher in the class. There's a chopper to third. Spreglot's going to have to hurry. Fields and throws on the run, and the ball gets by McLaughlin and rolls towards the tarp, and it's behind the tarp. Holt has to retrieve, and the Bulldogs have a runner in scoring position with one out. Two-strike pitch, and he hit Stevens on an 0-2 pitch. Let it fly. Ball four. Three free base runners. Trying to capitalize. And a walk to the eight and nine hitters to force in a run to tie the game. E5, hit batter, walk and walk. Although he did strike out back in the seventh. Going to drive one to center field, sending Wilmsmeyer back. This should give State the lead. The catch is made. Chester's going to tag and score. The throw to third is not in time, and Mississippi State's in front 5-4. And they have Mershon trying to add to it. Or the pitches. I don't think you can stay with Gackle much longer, can you? No, I think I think that might do it. Well, you know you're going to get strikes if you're Arkansas out of Will McIntyre. That's that's definitely one thing he will do. Two strikes. Runners take off the pitch. Strike three called. Jordan down looking. McIntyre gives the Razorbacks a lift. 
on an inning in which Mississippi State's taking the lead. Yeah, it's a huge fan. I think they have a different second baseman, don't they? Saw Flair left for a base hit, and Peyton Stoholt starts the eighth inning with a leadoff single. That's what you got to do. You got to get some base runners on. Borderline one if you're inside that zone most of the time. Line towards center. Jordan was playing deep. He'll take it on a bounce. Holt will round and hold there. He will bluff and has to dive back into second base. The wild. Hold at second. Sprague lot at first. Here's a payoff pitch. Hard hit up the middle. Base hit. Peyton Holt around third. He's going to come home to tie the game on a Mahiba Loy single. Evened up at five. And the Wild Colts goes diving across the plate. And Vahiva Loy has three hits. And Arkansas has come back again. The 3-1 pitch. That's down. That's ball four. And the bases are loaded. And the beer hats will come out. And Hudson White has a chance to put Arkansas back in front. Last year for Texas Tech, bases full of Razorbacks. A liner to left. It's down. It'll score two. Arkansas has taken a 7-5 lead. Hudson White plays hero again. Tell you what, you mentioned a guy getting hot at the right time. Hudson White is the nominee for the Razorbacks, and it's a 7-5 game. Right out of state alpha, there's going to be a close play at the plate. Diggs lifting one in the other left field. Jordan running back, should get there nearing the wall. He's going to make the catch. McLaughlin's going to tag. He's going to advance to third, and Diggs just missed. 370-some feet out there to left center field. Little chopper to third. Kohler's going to have to throw on the run, and he does to retire Jones to end the eighth inning. Hines has taken the count full to begin the ninth inning. He's going to take ball four, and Arkansas's nemesis tonight, Troy, has been the free base runner. White sets up on the corner. Soft flare into center for a base hit. So a walk and a single, and the Bulldogs have the tying runs on base, and Arkansas can't find somebody to shut down. Pitch to Downs. Little dribbler by the mound. McIntyre's going to have to cover first, but he missed, and then he dropped the baseball. And the bases are loaded and nobody out. Mac yeah, Wood's got electric stuff. He'll sit 94-95 with a fastball. But Arkansas has just got to find a way to get an out in this inning. Chester's going to pop one up into shallow center. This could almost be an infield fly. In fact, I think it should, but Stovall's going to make the catch. I think that's got to be an infield fly. Yeah, I think so. I'm really shocked that that was. And the one-two pitch. On the corner, strike three called. Gage Wood has got a pop-up and a strikeout, and the Bulldogs down to their final out in the ninth. Mississippi State down to its final out. In the air to the first base side. McLaughlin is there. Game over. The bomb walker mojo in full effect tonight. The Hogs walk the tightrope and pull out a 7-5 win. They're 32-2 at bomb walker. And this one was a test and a battle between two good ball clubs. I think you see you summed it up right, Brett, was a battle. Mississippi State gave Arkansas all they could handle and then some. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a great series. Big win for Arkansas. Mississippi State doesn't have anything to hang their hat on. Their head down, they played a great ball game, and it's going to be fun to see what's going to happen Saturday and Sunday.